Hi everybody, Wendy here from Lolly Dolly Crafts and uh, today we're going to have a little play with this kit. Um, it's uh, a kit that I've got from Fiona Jennings and I'm going to do a uh, video I'm showing you how um, I'm going to put this kit together. Now you don't have to follow um, how I've done it precisely, it's just to give you guys an idea of uh, how you can use the kit. So what the kit consists of, it's a um, canvas notice board type kit. Now you can do them um, for any occasion that you want. Um, you can have them for, um, I like, I think they're great gifts for a baby shower gift. So coming up to when you're having a baby, um, the mum can put any appointment uh, cards or anything that she can in there um, for a bride, for any appointment cards that she's got in there, like um, hair style, um, tries or you know anything like that but it's just a it's it's not just a normal board it's what I would call a keepsake board okay so you get in uh, the kit this canvas and the size is let me just tell you sorry because I've just moved the it's an A4 canvas I should have just no noticed that shouldn't I buy the size um yes it's an A4 canvas um you can make this in any size but for postage wise it was easier to go with an A A4 size to keep the postage down for you guys. Um, yeah, and what you'll get in the kit, Fiona's um, already done a read through but I'm just going to go through it again. Okay, so you'll get some flowers um, and you can um, use all or not all of that's in the kit so you get some flowers, you'll get some gorgeous lace okay in like a um this is like a, a cream and this is more of a like a darker cream um that one's more ivory and that one's cream if you can just see the difference okay some gorgeous little um flowers there okay to use a beautiful absolutely stunning applique to use some seam binding um, some beautiful this is the tiny goupier trim and then some um, Chinese braid and then we've got some gorgeous feathers <sighs> love these feathers some beautiful feathers um, a bow Okay, and some pretty flowers, uh, flowers, ribbons. Okay, you'll get, there's one, two, three, four, there's five, six of those. Okay, and then you'll get three of these little satin and pearl flowers. And then you'll get six of these um, oh, big um I can never remember what they're called, but split pins, that's it. Um, I'm probably not going to need to use all six of these, but they're great to have. Um, you can use them to make another board or whatever. Um, you'll also get a piece of uh, wadding, okay, and some beautiful satin to do your board. Okay, so what we're going to do to start off with is we're going to lay... Um, our wadding onto our board like so okay now I'm going to um, what I'm going to do is just use some hot glue and I'm only going to stick the corners down because I don't just because when you put the split pins in that will um, hold this more securely into place and also when you put the satin on as well but I don't want the um, the glue to show through so I'm just going to stick this around the outside of the board just to, on the corners sorry okay just like so and don't worry about it if it overhangs a little bit you don't have to trim it down it's pretty much been cut so I'm just going to add a little bit to there And all the way around. Okay. Like so. Okay, 
And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my satin. Okay, because what we're going to do, and then I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to glue this satin to the underneath of the board. Now what I would do is I would start on um, one side first and then work on the other side then you can pull it to make sure it's nice and because um, you want it fairly taut, you don't want it loose. Okay, so I'm just going to start gluing it. And don't worry about what the back looks like because um, you can cover it. Okay, so I'm just going to add some glue. Okay, so there we go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our seam binding, okay, and we're going to, I'm going to add these individually um, in strips rather than wrapping it round. Um, what we want to do is we're going to create a, a, um, a cross here, a corner across here, across here, and then the same that way. Okay, so we're going to go corner to corner, like so. So, but we need to do it on an angle. Okay, so we're going to go Start in the middle, I think. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to glue this piece down here. So we're just gluing it into this corner. Okay. Don't glue it over the top. This way here, we're going to go to this corner. Yeah. And then glue it down. Now, if you were making a bigger board you would uh, lay the the, uh, the ribbon out a little differently okay so now we're going to go from this corner to that corner ok 
Okay. And again, do the same thing. Just stick in the seam binding down like so. Okay, and then we're going to bring it across the middle like so. Now you don't want this too loose but you also don't want it too tight, you want it tight enough that you can, um, it's not going to be flopping around but you also want it loose enough that you can, you know, get whatever you want to uh, slide underneath. Okay, I'm just going to stick that down like that so. going to do is I'm going to add um, also from, from there like so like that okay so I'm going to go from this corner here oh to this corner here okay so I'm going to add this one first. So, okay, I'm just gonna just so I've just done this one. Facing the wrong way, I'm just there you go. Okay, and then I'm going to do oh, this side again. This corner to this corner. Okay. I'm just going to make sure that these are all stuck down so they don't come undone. There we go, like so. Okay, and then we've just got enough to put from this side to this side and then from this side to this side. Okay, so I'm just going to
oops, I'd probably uh, be a bit more run. Um, I was probably a bit too generous, so that's fine. But I've, I've still got more than enough, so I'm going to stick it on this corner. Out. Just making sure these are all stuck down again. Okay, like so. Okay. Perfect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of the Chinese braid and I'm going to add that around the outside of my board, like so. Okay. Um, now it's totally up to you. You can use um, some gathered lace to go around your board and then put the Chinese braid on top which I might even do that actually yeah, so
So there we go. Beautiful. Very pretty. Very pretty. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I've got six of these little um, bows here and I'm going to glue them on top of these, uh, oh, sorry I've got glue, it looks all stuck to my fingers which is because it's come through the lace. It's very annoying. Yep, so I've got these little bows with little pearls on. I'm just going to stick these to the top of my split pins. Okay, it's so pretty, so pretty. And if you wanted to paint the heads of your stick pins first of all, that's fine. That's totally up to you. So, and just bear in mind that if you're going to um, have your board in um, A4 um, portrait, then stick the um, bows on that way rather than that way. Otherwise, they'll be facing the wrong way. Okay. Oh, I was just about to stick that on the wrong way. So. <laughs> so I'm just going to add that flower to the centre, a uh, flower, bow. These bows are so pretty. Okay. And if you didn't want to uh, put the bows on here, like I said, it's totally up to you. It's just um, if you want to leave this, the uh, the pins blank, you know, it's totally up to you. Or if you want to stick um, a flat back um, bead on there, then that too is fine. Okay, I'm just using what's in the kit. Okay, so there we go. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Just be careful with your glue sticks. And if you do glue sticks, you use hot glue. Um, if you do get any on the satin, don't try not to pull it off. Just put um, a hot glue gun. A uh, hot glue gun. <sighs> a heat gun dryer, just to um, blow away the uh, glue string strands. And but don't hold it too close because you'll melt the uh, satin. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add, I'm going to trim off some of this, I'm going to decorate it a bit more now, so I'm just going to tr trim off some of this netting from around this flower applique, just to tidy it up a little bit. Uh, it's just where it's been trimmed up. I should use a small pair of scissors, but it's fine. Okay. And then we're going to... Now, bearing in mind when you're decorating, you don't want to add too much um, around the middle of your board, because you still want to be able to get underneath these pieces here but to decorate on the corners and that is perfectly fine um, yes yeah, that's perfectly fine and you can use like say the whatever you want within the kit because this absolutely gorgeous wedding applique or applique flower one so I'm just going to add that onto that corner just here okay so what I'm going to do I'm just going to stick this down like so so I know I'm my hands covering it but I just wanted to do those corners this corner first there we go. and then I'm just going to um, when you're sticking it down, try not to stick any hot glue on where the netting is because it will show through and it doesn't look as nice. So put it um, just a little dab, um, you know, where it's uh, the stitching is. Just you just want a little dab. That's, uh,
just to hold it down so it's not flapping about like so there we go and then we've got more flowers here some roses and I've got a beautiful bow so what I'm going to do so that's in that's there so I'm just moving this like out the way So in this corner here, I'm going to create like a little, um, oh, sorry, I've got to do strings, driving me nuts. I'm going to use some of these. Just having a play about just to see what I'm going to do. I want to use the feathers for sure, and I want to use these uh, little rose buds. I'm going to just trim them down, and also this flower here. Oh. What I'm going to do um, I'm just playing at the moment, so just bear with me because I want to uh, add these. Two, I mean, just got to use these two beautiful feathers. I mean, they're just absolutely stunning. So I want to use them like so, like that. So I'm just going to make a little cluster of flowers, I think, in this corner. Now, if you wanted to, you could add to that corner as well. Um, like I said, I might put these in just the other corners, I don't know, I might just leave it, it's, like I said, it's totally up to you, so, hot glue is not very conducive to uh, nail polish, it ruins your nail polish on you, but I've got summer ice cream colours on there, And it is driving me nuts. Okay, oh man, because all the fibres from the um, the satin sticking to it. I'm trying to bite it off my nails, and it's taking off nail polish. Okay, right. So I'm going to just turn this round this way a bit, so I can see what I'm doing so I'm going to so like I said so bear in mind you want to keep um, oh, that is the right way so, yep so I've got that one down there so bearing in mind you want to keep um, you know the, the way you're going to put underneath uh, fairly clear so I'm going to add I think um, these little flower applique things there and then add so I'm just going to add them to the corner I think this corner let me just trim them off sorry I'm faffing around just 
trim it off a little. Hanging on bits where they've been cut from a, a doily. So these are like little doily flowers. Very pretty. Okay. So there's that one. And don't worry about the fact that they're a little bit creepy though, because once they're glued down, they will flatten out. stick these so one there and then just use a bit of glue just to stick the petals down So, Stick this one on this side as well, making sure I got the right side. So there we go. This is the fun part. Well, it's all fun, but it's just like yeah, the decorating part. So I'm just going to add the, uh, the feathers. Oh my god! It's like this feathers are sticking to me. Uh, my gluey fingernails. Okay, so I'm just going to. Just for some colour, I'm going to add some of these really pretty. Oh, for God's sake. Sorry, I've got, I can't go. There we go. 
these uh, cream flowers with pink um, blossom on the ends of the petals. I'm just going to add some of these. Okay. Just going to try and flat out the stems a little bit and cut it off a bit more, probably. A bit better. I'm being driven to distraction by glue string. <laughs> okay, let's have a look how we're doing. So do cover um, oops, the back because it stops all that fraying bit showing. But there's our um, if you wanted, there's our feathers. <laughs> Beautiful. There's our little cluster. Gorgeous applique for that corner. Okay, and um, there's our lotus board, which is a really great gift. And we still have um, loads more goodies oops, to play with. We've got some flowers left, and um, we've got this little bag of flowers, and um, there's two stick pin uh, things left. So um, there's more than enough in the kit to uh, make this. If you wanted to change the colour um, of the flowers, you can have more pink in there. Um, it's totally up to you, whatever theme you're going for. You've been given enough um, 
you know, to uh, um, correct the kit, um, to uh, make the notice board. Um, there's probably enough of the Chinese braid left to make the hanger out of, or you can use um, some of this. And uh, if you wanted to use some of this to go round instead of the Chinese braid, uh, you, can, you can do that. Choice is yours. Um, you can make a flower out of um, this gorgeous. Um, just do you know, like Fiona does, sew it in and out, and then you can add, you know, the flower underneath. Um, like I say, the uh, the options and the um, the ideas are endless. Okay, so that is my. Um, take on the kit and uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching me make it um, and uh, be back again soon and I'll be doing another one thanks again for joining me bye